adding, speaking of adding, you do add to the piece. Uh, you have a nutritional program that you uh, have the kids uh, follow. Uh, and there's also a um, code of conduct uh, that you, you demand from your kids. Can you kind of touch on both of those, the nutritional and the code of conduct? Yeah, so. Um, I mean, other than. I know I got to eat my broccoli. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I mean, you're, yeah, I, and I've been learning to love broccoli. <laughs> but I didn't like it when I was younger either. But I grew to love it too. Yeah. But um, I, you know, my minor is in health. I teach math, but my minor is health. So I've always been interested in it. And um, and the more I read and and listen to like people that have um, you know more experience than me in the game and and um, the importance of nutrition i mean you even see it at the pro level you know the, the these pro athletes are hiring personal chefs you know there's a reason for it so um we we so that i got this after reading a book and um from dr andrew Weil. this is years ago and um he, he recommended implementing this nutrition program in phases so we do it in five phases through the course starting at the beginning of the year and then um the last phase is like the middle of January. So everybody should be on board with, um, you know, all the phases by the middle of January through the end of the year. Do you find the kids have more energy when they follow this uh, program? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, kids are kids. They're not going to follow it um, 100% to the T, but at least we're giving them something and we're, we're reinforcing it like pretty much daily. Yeah. You know, and, and I even, like I coach middle school football and, we do the same kind of thing, nothing as extreme, but like cut out junk food, drink more water, step Stay one. Stay away from McDonald's. You know? McDonald's <laughs> is expensive now, so. Yeah. You <laughs> saving money, too. You got, you're saving money as well. Yeah. Uh, about the code of conduct, um, and it's a, it's a bit of a, uh, morals to follow, team goals uh, in there, as well as, uh, as, well as a, um, how to carry yourself. In, in public yeah yeah and so we we've had um for years we had what was called the foundation of our program and and um there were some things that you know i thought was they were real important and um they weren't wrestling things but they were like you know just caring for people and and um you know always doing your best things like that and then this year at the beginning of the year we wanted to uh find something that we could just like really uh focus you know we're always trying to build a a culture mm -hmm. but um one of the things that we we um talked about was norms and values and things that we value and we we as coaches we had like we you know it was like an, a little exercise we did for about an hour and we figured out okay these are the three that we're going to focus on so and, and it was rad rad was our you know so respect accountability and discipline were our, our things and then um our values were uh one you know, one person talk, no cell phones, and everyone help out. Wait, so. no cell phones? How did everybody <laughs> live without no cell phones? Does it add something? Oh, that had to have been a bit of withdrawal for some people, Well, right? because last year, you know, we were at a dual meet, and we're in the middle of a dual meet, and you look over at the sideline, and there's three, four kids on their phone. You know what I mean? Not the pros yet. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, well, it sounds like it was a great recipe uh, and it brought you a successful season. Tell us a little bit about next season and what you expect from the Romeo Bulldog wrestling team from next year. So, um, I mean, first thing we have to do is thank our, our seniors and our, our two captains, Braden and Tyler, and all the seniors really for being uh, good role models and leaders because I think that carries weight, you know, going forward. You know, um, the – the guys that are juniors and even the sophomores this year and some of the freshmen that are a little bit more mature, they're going to be the leaders in the room. So um, I think we have a great, great group coming back. Um, our freshman class is super strong, and our eighth grade class is, like, right there with them. So we're going to have some really talented, good young, young wrestlers next year.